HET 192 HVAC careers week 3 HVAC residential installer objectives describe education requirements understand specialized knowledge understand personal skills no licensing requirements introduction the career as an HVAC residential installer has special licensing requirements depending on the location Education is required to do the technical nature of the profession. The residential installer must possess customer service skills. He or she must have the ability to be creative, lay out small projects, and is usually the first job for an individual entering residential HVAC. Education requirements. Apprenticeship, post-secondary, or trade school. An apprenticeship is usually something done through a union or other organization where you'll go to work for so many years for a company and at the same time receive in-class instruction. Apprenticeships are hard to come by, but when you get an opportunity to get one, it's definitely worthwhile going through the program. Normally apprentices start out at half the journeyman's wage and by the time four or five year apprenticeship is over our full journeyman installers. Post-secondary or the community college. Post-secondary education through a community college which has an HVAC program is a good way to get a start. Taking classes, learning the different parts of the trade from residential heating, commercial heating, residential air conditioning, different types of motors, controls, and other practices are very, very helpful along with working in the field. Sometimes it's best to be hired on as a helper and going to class at the same time and learning how to do this. Through the post-secondary community college education usually takes a little bit longer, but if the person is working at the same time, that can be a benefit because you're actually doing the work and learning about it at the same time kind of like an apprenticeship program. The trade school. The trade school is normally a situation where you would go to school pretty much full time, six to eight hours a day. But a trade school lasts maybe a year to complete, in which case you would have your certifications to be out in the field. All your skills and experience would be in class experience. Sometimes it takes a while when coming out of the trade school and becoming a helper to move through the profession. But all these methods are a good way to begin in the HVAC field. While you're going to school, you'll have an opportunity to meet different employers who can bring you on at the level you're at and help give you the experience needed to advance specialized knowledge. For the installer, they need to know how to solder and braze pipe. If they're going to be joining refrigerant lines and either using those two techniques and they'll be doing a lot of it as, as an installer every day running refrigerant lines. Sheet metal fabrication. As an installer you will be putting in new furnaces or air conditioners. Whenever new furnace is installed, it's going to be the different size than the one that was there. Therefore, some sheet metal fabrication has to be done on the job to make it fit in place. If you're installing an air conditioner coil inside of a piece of ductwork, modifications are usually needed also. The installer will also have to have the ability to read blueprints or drawings on how to put the job together. Usually the salesperson will come up with the drawing in which he had already talked to the customer and how the system would look. And so therefore the installer would work off of that. As the installer becomes more and more knowledgeable, the salespeople will mostly leave that to the installation technician to lay out the work as needed. Normally they're just given the piece of equipment, where they're going to put it, and it can be up to them on how the installation will go. That's where the experience comes in. 
personal skills. To be an installer, you need to be analytical, you need to be creative, and you need to be a problem solver. You need to be able to think through the situation. You need to look at what you have before you and what would be the best way to install that piece of equipment, not only for operation, but for the service technicians that will follow you, as all pieces of equipment inevitably will have failures. So you need to look at that and be creative in how you complete the task, how you fabricate the sheet metal so it moves the air properly and at the same time looks good. Solving problems for the customer. You need to solve the problems they may have through the installation. As the customer is talking to you, you may come up with ideas and creatively solve a problem that maybe was never brought up during the sales of the equipment or maybe you see something else that they may need and you can solve their problem. So always thinking, being creative, and being a problem solver are critical to the installation person. Communication skills, verbal and written. The installer needs to have good verbal communication skills because on a daily basis you'll be working directly with the customer. You have gotten a, a description of what needs to be done from your shop, but in the end you will be you and the customer out there when you're installing it. So you need to be pleasant, you need to describe to them what you're doing, how the company works, how the system will actually operate, and when you're completed, running through a complete operational checklist with them so they can feel comfortable with what you did. Written skills for writing up the invoices and tickets needed, uh, warranty paperwork, and communicating back with the company you work for. Communication skills are critical in all phases of HVAC work because each and every day all the technicians, whether they're service or installers, are the face of whoever they work for. They are the face of the company. You may work for Joe's Heating and Air Conditioning, but you're Mike and the customer knows Mike. So always keeping that in mind, how you talk to them, how you act, and how you present yourself is a direct reflection on you and the company. Licensing. Licensing may be required as a residential installer in certain locations. If it is, follow up with that, find out what the requirements are, and while you're gaining your education, you'll most definitely be able to pass any licensing required. The key is, is having the formal education. In summary, the residential installer must have the ability to take a job from concept to completion, must handle customers with respect and care, the ability to change design plan in mid-job, must have the ability to obtain a license.